uh, part of our prayers. We say it every morning when we walk into the synagogue. Matovu Halacha Yaakov, Mishkunatecha Yisrael. How goodly are your tents, Yaakov, and your dwelling places, Israel. There's two different Gemaras that talk about this verse, and they both learn different things from it. And uh, we're going to need the likes of Rav Moshe Feinstein to try to make sense of these two seemingly different Gemaras. The Gemara in Baba Bacha tells us, Mahani Mile, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, the Amar Kra, Isa Bilam et Einav, the Yaret Israel. Bilam raised his eyes, he saw Israel, Shochen, the Shvatav, that they were encamped properly in their in their sections, in their uh, in their encampments. Mara Ra, Shein, Pishe, Ahalehem, Mikuvunoim, Zet, Lezet. They saw that the entrances, the openings of the tents did not face each other, right? They had this uh, idea of privacy, of respecting other people's privacy and not glaring into each other's houses uh, for all kinds of reasons that people still do. Um, they, they weren't peeping in on each other. They weren't jealous of each other. They, uh, they, were, they were happy with what they had, et cetera, et cetera. So when, uh, and at that point, Amar, the, the Bilam said, Ruin halalu shatishra lehem shina. These people are worthy. These people are fitting to have the shina live amongst them. What are the tents that Bilam saw? The tents are the houses. He saw the Jewish houses. And the Jewish houses, the homes, were not facing each other. They had privacy. They didn't uh, look into each other's houses. Okay. Very different answer. And the Gemara Sanhedrin. Kufhe Amud Bet. So 105b. It says there, Amar Rabbi Yochanan. So Rabbi Yochanan himself seems to contradict himself. Because Rabbi Yochanan says, Mubaraticha shall oto rasha atalamed mahaya belibo. So what you see from the curses of that evil person, you see what he really had in his heart. So he wanted there not to be. Shuls and yeshivas. What is the uh, what is the opinion in the Gemara in Sanhedrin? Hence, are yeshivas and schools and shuls. The writer of Moshe finds in Zechit Tzadok Levrachas Chus Yagin Aleinu and Darash Moshe. He quotes first the Gemara in Baba Batra, the one we said before. Then he quotes the Gemara in Sanhedrin, uh, so that it's the yeshivas and such. Venira. Because it seems the hacker who Shaba Vitana Israel Shainim Srichim Livatik and they say is Meachar Shibatim Minagim Betov entirely Shivot Ubate Chinuf. So really he wanted for there not to be uh, places for the Jewish people to Davin and places for the Jewish people to teach their children. Umizai Nikar Mala Kalam Bizah. And so he says, what we're learning here is that you can't rely all of your chinuch on what your child learns at home alone. Right? There are different influences, say the uh, sociologists, right? There are different kinds of ways the child learns. We as people learn. Right? It's not all what you learn in school. Obviously, there's things you can learn at home, but learn what you learn at home is not all you learn. It has to be learning from peers. It has to be learning from teachers. It has to be, or chinuch won't work. The point here is that what Bilam wanted, Bilam wanted to get rid of the shina, the Jewish people. The only way that we do not have the shina is if our children don't learn the right ways. 